everyone, I am Dr. Ila Jain Khandelwal, a pathology faculty with MATO. The reason why I am recording this video is that students after the NEET PG results, I have got a lot of queries regarding ma'am what are the career options after pathology and how is pathology as a branch, right? So in this video, what I am going to cover is uh, the pros and cons of taking up pathology as a career option. Then I will tell you the career and the future prospects which you have after taking up MD or DNB pathology. And lastly, the most important question which I got was, ma'am, what is the earning power of a pathologist? So this is what I'm going to cover in this video. First of all, let me start with the pros of taking up pathology as a career option. Now, first and foremost students, I got a lot of messages from students that ma'am, why we want to take up pathology is because it gives us a better work-life balance. Yes, that's absolutely correct students, that taking up pathology, you can manage your work life as well as you can manage your personal life in a better way as compared to many of the clinical branches right uh, I would say uh, some people say that it is a nine to nine to five branch I would not agree with that because you might have to study and sit for long hours and see the slides under the microscope so it is not a nine to five hours per uh, job per se but yes uh, there are very few night calls so that you can balance your work life as well as your personal life in a much better way as compared to other branches right so that's a big big advantage which you have taking up pathology the second and another very important point why I took up pathology as a career option was it is very intriguing to diagnose various disorders so it is very interesting to know the pathogenesis of the various diseases which are happening in our body and then to see the slides of them under the microscope so it gives another level of thrill students when you see the starry sky appearance under the microscope and to you tell your professor that sir it looks like a case of Burkitt's lymphoma right it gives a large amount of thrill and that is why I took up pathology not by chance but by choice so it's a very very interesting branch if you like working in closed spaces behind closed doors and if you like seeing slides under microscope right another advantage uh, which I think is it is my personal opinion students is that it is one of the best paraclinical branches which is available and after doing your MD or DNB pathology it opens up a lot of future options or avenues for you which I'm going to tell you in some time in the same video right uh, so these are the important pros of taking a pathology as a career option now let me come to the cons of taking a pathology right the first and a very important one is that students if you have always dreamt of seeing the patients, interacting with patients and you have always dreamt of patient acknowledgement then I would say pathology is not a branch for you. I have seen few of my colleagues and my juniors actually regretting because our branch pathology does not involve any patient interaction or clinical interaction, right? So this is one disadvantage which I have seen uh, people think that they will have but they do not have any patient interaction that is why if you've always dreamt of that life you think about taking up pathology as a career option right then students the second is stethoscope is not my friend my friend is a microscope my biggest jewelry is a microscope in which I see a lot of slides right I do not take up a stethoscope so when you see a lot of these Hindi Bollywood movies the idea of a doctor is a person with an apron and with a stethoscope in or around the neck right now we don't have that because we do not have to examine the patient this is a very very subjective thing because it is not a that big a disadvantage uh, which is there right the next disadvantage which we have after taking up MD pathology is that we do not have much idea about what is in store for us for the next three years, right? So students, when we do our internship, we have a fair bit of idea about what is there in medicine or surgery or dermatology, ophthalmology, ENT. So if you take up any of these subjects, you know what is there in store for you. But regarding MD pathology, I did not have any clue of what I'm going to do for the next three years because when we 
study pathology in the second year we just read it in a very theoretical fashion right we are not given or told anything about what we are going to do in the next three years right so that is a minor disadvantage which you might face after you take up MD pathology right like it took me three months students to understand after taking up MD pathology to actually understand the nuances and to understand what I am going to see or do in the next three years of my residency right so these were some of the pros and cons of taking up MD pathology now let me move to the most important query that is what are the future prospects of taking this branch and what is the earning potential right uh, so let me start with the future prospects first and simultaneously I'll tell you the earning potential first of all students most of you have asked me that ma'am we like some kind of clinical interaction so can we do MD pathology first and then can we do DM clinical hematology now students I would say yes that's a very very good option and I know two of my juniors they have actually done that but uh, the only disadvantage with this option is the seats are a bit limited and the second one is that right now uh, the NMC is allowing the MD pathology people to appear for this DM clinical hematology exam but we don't know whether it will happen in the future or not right and there is a lot of competition from the internal medicine people as well right uh, so that, that is one thing but yes yes this is a very very good option then students why I feel that pathology is an excellent branch for you people is that there are fellowships available in every sub core so for example while doing doing your MD or DNB pathology suppose you start liking molecular genetics or you have a great interest in renal pathology there are fellowships available in all these branches at premier institutes in India and also abroad so you can do any of these fellowships and then you can come back and when you come back you will definitely have an edge over others who have just done general pathology right although you may have to start with general pathology only or you may have to practice most of the cases as general pathology but then you will definitely have an edge over others right so there will be a fellowship in GI pathology or renal pathology liver pathology molecular genetics cytopathology whatever sub speciality you want to practice or you have to you have interest in you can do that that is a very big advantage of taking up pathology as a career option right then students the next thing which you can do is you can join a government medical college that is an excellent option a lot of females opt for this because it gives a lot of teaching experience as well and there is a good amount of workload which is there and the work-life balance can also be maintained right now with this option a slight disadvantage is that it is mostly saturated right especially in metropolitan cities there is a lot of saturation it's not easy to get a seat in uh, the premier medical colleges if you talk about but as you move a bit to the periphery it gets easier right so when you are opting for an MD pathology option try to look for an institute which has senior residency as well because it is always advantageous especially in a branch like pathology to do a senior residency after taking up MD pathology the next option which you have is you can join any of the private pathology labs so the good point about joining any pathology lab is that you can always ask the lab for flexible working hours like you can uh, schedule a working hour like 10 to 6 or 9 to 5 depending on on your own convenience right although these days many of the labs don't give this level of flexibility but yes some of the labs are still open to it right according to that you can maintain your work-life balance as well right the last option which you have which is very very good option is to open your own pathology lab right that is a very good option which a pathologist have in fact many of us when we take up MD pathology we think that yes we are going to open our own pathology lab and make a brand like the lal pathology lab right so I'm going to be very neutral in my comments here that students starting your own pathology lab is not that easy for that matter starting any of the businesses right it requires a lot of dedication hard work networking right so if you're ready for all of that uh, you should definitely start your own lab 
in fact these days a lot of these specialized labs like maybe your lab specializing in molecular genetics they are much more in vogue right so you can always think about that and if your parents have a nursing home or they have some kind of infrastructure which is there then you should definitely think of starting your own lab in those hospitals and nursing homes it is a very good option but remember everybody cannot become dr lal path lab right so either your lab can really succeed or it can be a flop show as well but then life is a gamble so if you want to take that gamble it's fine right if your lab really runs then sky is the limit correct so these were the few career options which you have after doing md or dnb pathology now let me come to the most important point in which i'm sure all of you are interested in is ma'am what is the earning power of a pathologist right and now uh, let me start with the different career options which you have i've already told you if you open your own lab sky is the limit you can earn whatever amount depending upon the amount of dedication hard work and the kind of lab which you are opening right if you are a fresh sure working in pathology students the average pay is approximately 80000 to 1 lakh per month right that is the average pay and that pay might increase to up to 1.5 lakh after approximately 5 years of experience right this is very very uh, highly variable and flexible and remember students there is a geographical variation as well the pay is slightly higher in north india as compared to south india so you have to think about that as well right what i am telling you is the average pay which is there right then students if you open your own pathology lab then i've already told you sky is the limit right depending upon the kind of lab and the services which you are giving to your customer you can earn a lot of money or it can be a slight flop flop show as well right uh, then if i move to government medical college then the pay is the same for all the branches whether it is a medicine person or a gynae or a surgery uh, that is according to the government pay scale so this is the earning potential of a pathologist uh, remember this is not a fixed one uh, this is highly variable all across india and in different institutes right this is what i have seen or experienced in the 15 years of my practice in pathology right uh, lastly i would like to answer two more questions which i got from a lot of students one is that ma'am can can ai replace me if i become a pathologist for this the answer is no why students one um it's not possible right now in a country like india right the second the report ultimately has to be signed by a doctor right uh, the computer cannot sign the report the third is uh, in a branch like pathology where you have to see 20 or 30 different fields or foci to ultimately reach a diagnosis says ai is a very very tough thing right so definitely students for the next 30 years i feel ai cannot replace a pathologist right so be rest assured about that right last day students a few of you have asked me a question that ma'am md versus dnb pathology which is better now this is a long long discussion or debate which keeps on happening uh, i will cut the long story short and tell you here that um, uh, students 5 to 7 years back they There used to be some difference between md and dnb in all the branches but right now there is not much difference or partiality which is there the only disadvantage which people say with dnb is that in dnb the home advantage which md people have is not there that is what do you mean by home advantage i can't give the exam in my parent institute it doesn't happen there my final exam happen in a separate hospital or institution in which i don't know anybody right so everything depends upon my performance on that particular day for example if i am doing my md final exam what is important is uh, the examiner can think about because it happens in my parent institute the examiner can think about how i was as a student in my 3 years right but here in dnb everything depends upon my 
performance on that particular day right what is important for you people while choosing a college for pathology do not think about md or dnb while choosing a college for pathology what you have to see is infrastructure and the case load right the infrastructure might not be applicable to many clinical branches like medicine or surgery but yes it is definitely applicable to a branch like pathology because you should choose an uh, institute in which immunohistochemistry is happening or flow cytometry is there or molecular genetics is there because that will definitely give you an edge over the other institutes or other students understood so infrastructure and case load is very important for a branch like pathology so always see that do not think about md or dnb ultimately it is your hard work and dedication which matters the kind of course which you are doing does not matter right so these are the few things which i wanted to cover about pathology as a career option uh, i hope i'm able to answer most of your questions if you have any further query students you can write to me in the comment section i will be very happy to answer them and uh, remember students the all the things which i've said in this video are my personal experience as a pathologist over the past 15 years right at the end i would just like to say that pathology is a beautiful branch you should take it up if you're really motivated and you want a great work-life balance right the pinks and blues have definitely made my life colorful and beautiful thank you so much students and all the best